Jimbo? Hey. Hey, can I call you right back? I got Nana on the phone. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, I'll call you back. All righty. Bye. Bye. My mother might call back during this podcast, and I might have to answer it, but I'm going to give this a shot. Welcome back to Zenbo, everybody. I don't even know what episode this is. 13, 14, I think it's 14. We'll just say that. It doesn't matter. Numbers don't mean anything. As long as you know you're listening to the Zimbo show, you're in good hands. You're in good hands. You're in good hands. Come at me, Allstate. My bad. Don't mean to be stealing people's slogans. But, um, a quick update for you. I don't want to get too far into it. I don't want to bore you with how my day at work went. I know everybody's out there working and going to school, and I'm just excited because I finally got my ass off the couch and I got me a job. After three long months of job searching, I found something that I'm going to be very happy with for now until I make some money and move to something else. But, I mean, you know, I I have found a company that I'm ready and dedicated to put in about good two hard years of work because just me, FYI, I probably should be saying this, but I don't care. I'm not the type of person to get stuck in any any one position, bad or good. For for long periods of times, I like to switch it up. I like to switch it up. But you know what? Hell, y'all going to see me selling roofs when I'm 80 years old. <laughs> but that's what I'm doing. If you all don't know yet, I'm, I'm selling roofs for Pyramid Roofing out of Valdosta. We also have branches in Warner Robins, Albany, Brunswick. We cover all of middle Georgia, which incorporates all of South Georgia. And um, and I said that to say this. I'm really enjoying it. Shout out to Josh Waller with Southern Print, soon to be American Print in Valdosta. He does all your logos, art, designs, stickers, pins. You need it. He can put your name on it. Give him a shout out whenever you need anything about Asa. He actually referred me, got me set up with this job. And man, I can't thank him enough. Um, so thanks, Josh. Couldn't done it without you, brother. You know we're a team always. So I'm, I'm just, I say all that to say this. I'm just really happy to have a job. I'm really happy that I have skills that enable me to get a job. I'm really happy that I have parents <clears throat> that enabled me to go to college and get an education. I'm really happy that when it got rough in college and I could have quit and I wanted to back out, I had family and a support system and friends to push me and let me see that there is light at the end of the tunnel and you are going to make it out. When I was halfway through my college career and I didn't see an end in my college career and didn't know what I went to school for, you know, that support system gets you through anything. You got to lean on those people. And those people will lean on you. You got to be sturdy for those people. When you can be strong for somebody, you be strong. But when you're weak, you need to have those people around you to pick you up. It's so important. And so, I mean, I'm just full of full of bliss, full of positive energy. I don't sleep as much anymore because I don't want to. I don't want to waste hours of the day sleeping. I want to be progressing and just enjoying whatever it is that I'm doing. But... Shout out to VSU for giving me a degree that costs so much damn money. But more than that, shout out to the professors in the communication department. Miss Robson, Dr. Jerzak, Dr. Nelson, Dr. Fox. There's more, but you all have inspired me immensely to take risk, to not be normal, to change the curriculum, to communicate. All the other four professors are very passionate about communication. And they're all four completely different people with different views and beliefs, which makes the communication major at VSU so comfortable. If you're in that college and you're having trouble figuring out what you want to do, go communicate. You can never have a better skill than talking to people and learning the theories about conflict management, about small group communication, big group communication, all these different social penetration theories all these, I think about these all the time, subliminally, just because they're ingrained in my mind from my from what, from when I've learned them. And it's something I'll always study. I've always had a passion for communication and didn't know it until I found myself in a communication class. And I, 
there was one day in college where I realized, like, this is what I want to do. This is what I love doing. And luckily, that has got me into a position where I can make money from communicating with people, talking to these homeowners, ensuring that they are going to be safe and that they're going to get a new roof on the house for a good price and that the insurance does what they pay for. I could go on and on, but you know I'm excited. That's all you need to know. Shout out Pyramid Roofing for hiring me. Going to give you a lot of hard work in the future. But uh, other news, besides all that, mm, nothing. I met a great Dane today. Um, it's at my co-worker's house. This dog is one years old, and it's like bigger than me. And his skin is still loose, so you know it's going to grow like twice the size. I'm telling you, like, I, I'm about 5'8", if you know what a 5'8 male looks like. So I'm standing up. This dog was above my waist. It is ridiculous. Uh, I'll probably post a picture of Facebook. Like, go look at my Twitter or something. It's, oh, my goodness. It's paws were the size of my laptop. Beautiful dog, though. So sweet. They had, and it was funny because they had a, another dog, and it was like a little teacup dog. So it was just one huge dog and one super tiny dog. It's very odd. It makes you realize how crazy just life is, like all the different shapes and sizes of these things that breathe and, oh my God, oh my God, this is not that podcast where I need to get super deep. Um, One more thing, huge, huge, huge shout out to my girl, Alex Zenzola, uh, old co-worker of mine. Um, we've remain good friends. She is a graphic design major at VSU, one of the best in my opinion. This girl can do anything on the computer, anything with a computer. Um, I, I mentioned my buddy Josh Waller. She also does, Waller does some graphic design, um, and she does as well. She she goes to VSU to design, and she made me a design today. I say all that, say this. Shout out to Alex Zenzola. Alex Zenzola made me a design for this podcast, and I could not be more happy. She worked with me so good on it. Um, it started out like this. Um, she made a post the other day, and, I, and I, I know Alex, and I've known Alex does graphic design, and I've thought about this before, but she posted the other day that um, she's, um, it was just another promotional, por- uh, promotional post for her page. So I hit her up, and I said, uh, hey Alex, I'm looking. I'm interested in a logo for the Zenbo show. Um, just go listen to my podcast and get back to me. Or maybe you have an idea, something better than I think of. And I just, all I told her was, I have a show. It's called Zenbo. Have a listen. Tell me what you come up with. Within 15 minutes, she got back to me with a a, a little sketch. Looked like she drew it on a piece of paper. And uh, just sketch it out real quick. A very rough drawing, but it was perfect. And you will see the final product probably on this thumbnail on YouTube when I upload it. We, we, oh man. She sent it to me and uh, she came out with the final product. And man, I'm just blown away. It's going to be my logo for the remainder of this podcast. Like, that's going to be the base, so super happy about that. Instagram, Twitter, all that, you can check that for it. I'm so happy, I feel like this podcast just jumped to the next level with this logo, I really do. Other than that, tomorrow night on the show, we have a Warner Robins native. I can't come to Warner Robins and not get my boy on the podcast, Austin Christopher, Valdosta State graduate. He's up here doing his thing. He's in the workforce as well. So uh, he's going to get up and go to work in the morning, and I am too. But tomorrow night when we knock off work, we are going to link up, and we're going to have a very, very special episode for you. And I and, and notice I emphasize the very. Me and Austin, when we talk, we get into deep conversation. It doesn't matter what we talk about. You're going to want to be tuned for this one tomorrow. Other than that, I just wanted to uh, express my happiness to you. Thank y'all for listening. <laughs> I'll be surprised if anybody listens to this whole thing, but if you did, that means you really fool with me, and I really appreciate you. Anytime y'all want to shout out to me, just do it. Come on the show. Talk to me. I made this so I can talk to my friends. You can't keep up with every single one of your friends, but with this podcast, every one of my friends, at least the important ones, they can come talk. 
and maybe not. Maybe they don't want to talk to me. Maybe they want to talk to somebody. But there's always somebody listening on the Zimbo Show. So, without further ado, I am going to close it for tonight. I probably have some other stuff to talk about, but this shit gets boring just listening to my voice over and over again. So I'm gonna play you out with a little bit of music. I just want you to sleep good tonight. Dream of something amazing. Without further ado, peace. Oh, 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 oh,